Hi, I'm Lucy Davis. I'm the sailing designer at Musto, and today I'm with Amel Leclerc, talking to him about what it's like to sail his old team and how we can work to develop some kit with him that's going to give him the competitive advantage as he sails around the world. So what's it like sailing the old team? It's obviously quite different from uh, boats you've sailed previously. Big difference is the speed of the boat yeah. because uh, it's a big boat, 32 meters longer, and um, we have uh, big foils. Yeah. So we have high speed, like uh, 40 knots, 45 wow. knots. So fast. it's very fast, and and we have made the big difference with this other boat, like uh, Imoca or Figaro. I have uh, used uh, in the past. And uh, like, how is it? How are you finding it? Sort of going at speed like that, does it, do you fall over a lot? I mean, what happens on board at that speed? You need to be very concentrated yeah. uh, because it's like a Formula One if you compare with a car sport. Yeah. And so we need to concentrate with all the technology, all the sail, all the thing on the boat. And you'll be uh, very concentrated for to pilot the boat. And right. Because the speed will be changed in a few seconds uh, yeah. very fast. Uh, you can be at 20 knots and a few seconds after you can be at 40 knots so it's uh, very important to to be uh, concentrated for to have no surprise and, yeah. and for the security of the crew and when I am alone so it's very uh, more uh, um, important for that. Mm -hmm. What's the biggest issue you're finding kit wise when you're sailing? Obviously you're you know Musto very well. Yeah. And what, what's, what difference would you like to see on the kit on this new boat? Yes, on this new boat, the different, big difference. Um, we are talking with um, the medical staff uh, mm -hmm. for the last uh, months, and um, they say now you have a big boat, but a, a high speed boat, uh, 40 knots, is like uh, you are in your car in the road mm -hmm. at. Uh, 100 kilometers, so it's uh, high speed. And if you have um, a, a shock or an impact with uh, something in the water, uh, it will be very dangerous okay. for uh, for you or the crew. Yeah. Um, so they they say me that um, it's very important to to imagine to have uh, protection for the head, okay. but also for the for the body. So. With Musto and you, yeah. <laughs> um, we discussed about that yeah, yeah. and try to have some solution. And we've we've come up with a range of ideas that we're going to yeah. try on this kit. And the primary one is going to be impact protection. So we are like aware that at that speed, if you something happens, you can really hurt yourself, and that's obviously a big problem if you're solo sailing. So impact protection is going to be our focus. Yeah. We're going to be adapting the MPX race kit, which. I know you've worn in the past and we're looking at other things so we'll be adding impact protection but we want to make sure that this kit is still very light and that you can still move around the boat very efficiently so we're looking at alternative ways of doing the abrasion resistant to sort of reduce a bit of weight keep the uh, garments very flexible maybe adapting the jacket a little bit make it sort of a hybrid smock jacket so again you can move around in it get it on and off very quickly in case you've got a dash up on deck, but still have that protection of a neoprene hem. Um, we might look at how we do the trousers, uh, whether we need a lower or higher bib height, but that's, we'll talk to you about that when we've got some protos. I mean, if, if we can, we're gonna have a look at maybe including some electronics. Yep. I know you wear a phone on your sleeve. Yes, you can so, engage with your yeah. team. We are on, on land yeah. to have uh, the weather to, and security and mm. to be... Uh, so we're going to sure. look at how we can integrate some yeah. of that into the jacket and then maybe maybe we'll add balaclava because yeah. I know you're a big fan of balaclava. Um, yes, for the South Ocean, yeah. uh, with, uh, the weather is very cold and uh, if you are uh, moving on the boat, yeah. uh, it's uh, for the head, yeah. the protection is very important. Yeah. So, these are just ideas at the moment. We've got to test them, which we'll test with you, yeah, obviously. Um, so 
some of them may work, some of them won't. Uh, so, but this this is definitely where our focus is going to be, making sure that it's still very functional, but that we're protecting you from any impact injuries. I'm very happy to test this product in the future and to have this one for my first um, race around the world yeah. in my whole team because uh, I do three times in Mono Hall with uh, Vendée Globe. But um, next winter is the first time I do this this race uh, alone yeah. in the multi hall so it's going to be amazing watching all these huge boats sail off together yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i need to have the, the best protection uh, for the crosses um, with musto but uh, to have this uh, impact protection it will be better yeah. for me and to security cool nice. thank you